Hello everybody, this is Ryder, your friend. I'm going to guide you through relics. Uh, this is the relic guide uh, on English. So the next one going to be on French. Okay, let's just get to, to, to the point. In order to get relics, obviously, or oh, material from relics, you need at least to be year 13 for one of your charters. The level of each relic is around here. You can see the level. If you don't have number, that means you don't get the bonus stats from the relics. And uh, once you uh, unlock the level 13 from one of your charters, this is how we're going to help you to in order to get Andridian. This is the scavenger. But first of all, I'm going to advise you uh, something very important. Most of the people miss. Okay, from even from noob or beginners players. So you're going to buy all this. Even you have repeat material, you have a lot of them. You need this to strap in order to get more ingredients for relics. Uh, then you're going to search from the guild store. You're going to search this material from here. This is the most, the most important material for relics. Okay, the cost is not that high. It's going to cost you 260 for 5 piece and 10 piece is going to just cost you 520 so it's very accessible so search this material hoard it is extremely extremely important okay capital <laughs> okay next stage is going to be this store the chart store and this store is going to give you the opportunity to get some material from here and uh, from material from relic seats is the cost of that is going to be around 180 uh, from relic 7 is going to cost you 360 okay you're going to hold a bit of these materials well this trade it from chart store in order to get easier relics that's one of ways to get fast as possible to get a relic 7 or relic 5 or 4 if you want and uh, to relic 1 or 4 uh, to, f to 4 is like beginner level to 5 to 6 it's like veteran level and ultimate level I suppose is going to be the maximum is going to be the 7 okay that's my own opinion Okay, uh, I'm going to tell next step, I'm going to talk about Cantina. Cantina is a mod, you're going to need some kind of energy from here. The refresh is very, very costly. As a, oh, is the, it has a high cost of, of 100 crystal, so you're going to use that uh, crystal wise. Okay, first of all, there's two important points, and one is to farm him a charter from cantina and the other is going to farm material for relics so relics uh, you need cantina you need to focus on cantina in order to get these materials around here but you're going to decide between charters or relics so you know you're not going to use both of them you're going to decide between these two you're going to decide one of them just one of them don't going to decide both of them you're going to finish all your well all the charities you need for the moment on cantina you're going to farm maybe one character you're going to complete it and then you're going to focus full on relics you cannot just focus on both of them you're going to focus just relics or cantina oh sorry <laughs> relics or charter from cantinas okay you're going to just focus on one of them. Okay. By example, I'm going to focus on Art Trooper, finish this on 7 star, and then going to full focus on Rake uh, and Radiance. So, okay. Let me explain the ingredients. There are only three materials from Cantina for Relics. You're going to need a signal uh, data. Um, incomplete si uh, signal data. Uh, Finally, you're going to need a flow uh, signal data. This one, uh, each one have certain difficulty in order to farm. This one is extremely, extremely easy to farm. 
Uh, just to make this clear, uh, material from relics are easier to farm than character charts. So it's easier to farm relics than characters. So you understand? It's easy. Okay. This is the easy difficulty for farming relics. This is going to be the medium difficulty and this is going to be the hard difficulty. Uh, this one is easier than is like farming char from characters, but 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 this uh, this one is you need uh, not a lot of them you need just a few one uh, honestly when you begin to use this material you only need 15 you don't going to need a lot of them and next step is going to be how to explain this the scavenger the jaguar or old friend and for the for for the farming of or getting from this uh, ingredient for or relics, uh, we need to increase the this bar. This is the XP bar. You're going to complete this. Even you have above this level, uh, by example, you farm one material from this and get and then you get uh, some remains. By example, uh, my remain is uh, 19. So you're going to use. Most of the time, you're going to just need these materials from here. Obviously, how much experience I get from each one. So, the materials XP is going to see about this square. Uh, you're going to have a number. This is the XP for each of of, of this. Uh, if you go below, you're going to keep increasing the XP you get from materials. So. You can see up there is two and down here is six. You're going to obviously use the material you have a lot of the of those ordinary materials you get on your <laughs> on your trash can <laughs> from uh, horror materials. Okay, these materials are going to get you're going to get a lot of them from challenge. The challenge uh, is very important. You uh, you don't need to miss this material because you're going to strap them and use this material from this challenge to get a more strap. The strap is useful to get its speed from this. Okay. Next step uh, is talking about the difficulty of this uh, between carbonite and Tronium, e, tromium is is beginner level. Honestly, it's beginner. This is the la, for material for rates four. So around this material you need for relic uh, one to four is going to be pretty easy. As you can see, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the level of these relics. Okay, first of all, this is the basic level, the beginner one, and this is the for relic one, relic two, relic three, and relic four. This is the easier uh, level. So, to get to level one to four is extremely easy. You can get all your character from year 13 to relic four, uh, four without any difficulty. But it take time because of the cantina materials around. Oh, sorry, shit. Around here, obviously, it tends to this that going to take some time in order in order to farm relics. Okay, next is going to be the veteran level. Uh, at this level, is is going to take more time because it need this material is going to be difficult to get this. But at this uh, relic 5 and 6, you're going to need this. You're going to begin to, to need this. So then let's return before talking about more of this. Okay, let's continue. Okay, then these three materials are from the beginner level. When we, we get to our audium, it's going to be the hard, well, it's going to be more complicated, but you're going to be careful because you're going to lock some of the, your materials you don't want to sell or strap. 
you can use whatever terms you want. Uh, for example, you it demand uh, uh, trial text, uh, um, stun guns, ice balls, some stuff you don't want to strap. But on this level, you only need one material. So from here, you're going to need the MK nk3 here the one i recommend you to farm from your guild store or and you need to hoard this material a lot because you not need a lot of this in order to get a lot of this at least the the one you need the amount you need okay uh, first of all you going to i'm going to show you how much speed uh, at speed you uh, you're going to give you individually uh, if you get 20 from this, uh, you're going to, uh, to get 200 speed, and you're going only to need. Uh, you're going to only give you four material from this. If you get the entire one, that is around here, that's the whole set. Uh, it gives you 500, and it gives you 10 piece. That's far more better. So from Aurelium, you only need this material. It's easier to get, uh, the cost is very cheap and is accessible on Guild Store. Next step, we're going to talk about this electrium, electrium conductor, so, or electrium, whatever. Okay, this material is the hardest material of all. And the the thing that uh, veteran players and beginner players make a great mistake about this electrium. Never, never strap this. Never, 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 never. You're going to get a strap this. You're going to strap only this this is what you need in order to get this each one each one is going to give uh, give you 12 it's not that great amount because we need 20 uh, for for rate six and 20 another 20 to rate seven this is like a farming gear from from year 12 or to tier 13 but uh, you only need one piece of uh, one equipment from this you're not going to need the whole uh, <laughs> the whole thing okay you're going just to need two two stuff from here because oh shit okay let's move this this each piece have a value from is equal to this 12 of this you need 20 so that means you need at least twice ouch but why why I don't strap this okay this you're going to find him everywhere on your normal energy light side or dark side all these materials only need a normal energy so it's not going to be difficult to get to find this in order to find this you're not going to <laughs> come on come on it don't, you don't going to find this material around dark side or, or light side because this is a whole equipment so this is not a piece this is a whole equipment so you're not going to find this around everywhere you can see I can't find this obviously you can't find this material because it, this is the whole set and then this is a piece from the whole set it's a little piece you're not going to find him you're going to find these materials you not you need these materials to get through this and this material is going to help you to get through this okay but it's simple you see this uh, image uh, they are, have certain similar uh, similarity. Okay, you have the eyeglass here. Is like this one because you need this one in order to get this, and this is going to help help you to craft this. So it's easy. 
is the same from the others you need this in order to get through this and this is going to help you to get this the same here this is going to help you to get this and this is going to help you to get through this and this uh, obviously this is <laughs> this is weird image we have but this is going to give you this and this one is going to trap this pretty easy to, to get it's not that complicated you need these materials in order to get enough for 20 or plus okay how do I get them okay uh, I need a character to trap them. In my case, I use Consular. It's very useful because this guy, uh, this guy helped me a lot because for he get me these two in order to get through this. Well, fuck, to get these two. Consular is very helpful. I during uh, on level 12 because I wanted the ship to be good enough. I used uh, I tend to use a window on the past, but now I use negotiator. So okay. And then going to search from character below here. This is going to see which character you need in order to get these materials. Okay, you can see below here there are some characters. Uh, your table not going to help you. The scavenger not going to direct trap the material, you, uh, the equipment you need in order to strap them. You need a character in order to trap the material and then return to the scavenger and then strap it. That's the trick. Okay, then I'm going to show you through consular. This is material for relic 6 and 7, okay? Just to make that clear. Oh fuck, I need to hold this character pressed. Okay, then. Okay, for material for relic 6, you need this. This is for relic 7, but we still don't get on that. Okay, you're going to find the material from relic 6 around here, as you can see. I need to trap this material, I need to untie the equipment from here in order to get 12 electrium. I need 12, uh, I need a 1 to get 12. But to get to rate seats, we need at least 20. Shit, that means we have to trade this material twice. We need twice. Okay? You get it? We need twice. Or at least one of each. Okay. Consular is going to help me to trade this. And it helped me to trade this too. So, you have... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people who have some characters that regret to have to year 12. And don't want to trade them to year 13. You're going to have some people or characters around your roster is going to help you to get these materials okay this is for relic seats you're going to find them around here it only use energy from light side and dark side so it's farmable then you're going to get through this material there's a good news about this it's easier than relic seats but the bad news is that you're going to need another 20 from here to uh, to rate 7. But but the amount you need for rate uh, 7, you only need 10. So, but shit, how much the value of uh, of this piece represent on XP? So this gives you around 900. You need. 90 so that means one material is equal to 10 piece this is the exact amount you need in order to get rate 7 you only need 10 only 10 okay but there's a huge difference uh, uh, from rate 6 to rate 7 is that it's easier to get this than the, uh, than the entire piece of equipment you need on the previous stage from Electrium. 
I'm going to make that clear that you're not going to strap this. Don't. Bad boy. Bad. Bad boy. <laughs> you're not going to strap that. Bad. <laughs> you're going to strap this. This is the good stuff. Okay. 900 speed directly from 10 piece. That's good enough. This material can also be found on the shard store. Uh, some piece around, well, this piece you can find them on the shard store uh, on an amount of 360, and give you like five piece. But anyways, uh, different from the previous one is that only need 13 or 20 piece for each piece. That's the difficult stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you some chatter I need you know, in order to get this but i'm going to show you uh, luminara because it's one of the charter i regret to rate anyways i used to be a old player ah oh, damn it i hate to one have to all okay ah damn it oh god okay done okay this material from RAID 7, you're going to find them here. This is the material you get uh, You get at 6P plus. So, in order to get this material, you need, you're going to get, you're going to find them around here. This is the piece you need. You don't need the whole, the whole set. You only need this. So, it's easier. But, a different from the previous one, you need 15. Each piece or uh, you're going to find for the 900 uh, HP point you're going to need at least 15 from each so I'm going to show you you need at least 15 you're not going to need the same character I have you have another character you may have for example you may have um, army Joda you're not going to trade him to your 13 some people don't mind but you must have some. Okay, this material you need a. Okay, I'm going to find this. Oh shit! Sorry, dudes. Okay. Oh, how much I hate this. Okay, going to move the to the important part. This material you're not going to find them. You're going to trap them. Okay. Once again, I'm going to repeat myself. You need to trap them. I'm going to hold my salt again. This material from Reddit 7 is going to need fleet battle energy. That's annoying, but it's easier than farming a whole set of equipment like previously on Reddit 6. Even so, you're going to repeat the process on Reddit 7. But anyways, it's it's just like farming gear. Relics are easier than farming gear. It's going to take some time, but it's easier. You don't going to need a lot of money in order to get a relics. Okay, you can see I only need this. I'm not going to need this. I'm going to need only this. This you can farm them on fleet battle you're not uh, you're not going to need to be the greatest on uh, on fleet because only on the first stage uh, the computer image from previously you need only to be on the third stage from normal fleet battle so it's easier okay then you're going to get to the final tag uh, talk about the relics Okay, for rally, you know, this is the basic level, this is the veteran level, it's going to be the ultimate level, this is the material you need for each level. Okay, I'm going to pass them slowly, because some people want to stop the, the video in order to see which material you need from each level. Each level is the same from all character. All character need the same stuff. You can see this is the veteran level, this is relic 5 and 6. And this is the last level from rate 7. You're going to need this. As you can see, uh, this is only need 10 
from Reddit 7 is going to be the only time you're going to need this. Then, resource, resources cost. So, how the total amount you need. Okay, from Reddit 1 to Reddit 4 is the easier way. You can uh, upgrade all your chapter you, to Reddit 4. E, the cost is very reasonable. Uh, very reasonable. And uh, not going to need a lot of stuff. It's pretty easy. It's well, you can get all your chapter to rate 4. But the max amount is spent on rate 1 to rate 7 is uh, this is the total amount you need. Um, but simple, this is the material you need to from Cantina. Uh, this is from Cantina, and this is the ingredient you need to the for the scavenger. This is the max amount of trade you're going to spend you're going to only need a uh, 1 million and 10,000 uh, this is almost like a uh, old rate from uh, 11 stars 7 star so this is from the beginner level uh, only this is going to be the difficult part as you can see this is the only difficult part from relics you don't need a lot of a lot of stuff. You don't need to to spend money. You only need time and patience. So you're going to just to focus on your cantina and uh, spend your crystal wise because you have to decide between uh, farming cantina chars from characters or material from relics. So this is going to be the end of my video. Uh, uh, if you like it, subscribe and uh, share with friends and guild. Okay, this is going to be the end. And the next video is going to be on French. Bye-bye.